Zag here and in this video I'm going to show you how to find technical support scammers online and uh, taking more video um, requests for people that ask me this and uh, I'm going to show you how I find technical support scam uh, pages online and uh, it's really simple all you really need to do is have the virtual machine set up so uh, if you haven't uh, if you haven't already set up a virtual machine, go watch the other video that I just made an hour ago, and I'll sh and it will show you how to set up a virtual machine. So uh, I'm going to show you how I find the technical support scam pages and how I get a hold of the numbers. So uh, what you have to do is you have to just open up a browser, and um, I have a few different methods in doing this. Um, the first one doesn't always work really well, but if you go to uh, gg ggmail.com you'll get a random advertisement coming up every time you visit this web page and uh, sometimes you'll get the blue screen so uh, and sometimes you won't so uh, as you see here we didn't get it this time so if you go back to ggmail.com um, again you'll get redirected see now we have a different advertisement it doesn't always work um, so uh, again, it won't always work. But uh, one of the domains that works better is if you go write YouTube with two zeros. Dot com, and then normally this website here works a lot better. So here we go. We got one right now coming up. So uh, there's the number to call. So I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and uh, prevent this from this from virtual pop. So if you go back to uh, YouTube and you put two zeros in, like this. Like I have here, and uh, you'll notice that almost every time you visit the page, you'll get a different technical support pop-up scam. And uh, yeah, so this is how I start to get a hold of these numbers. Um, again, if you go to uh, YouTube and make sure you put two zeros in, well, each time you know you'll get a different number or a different pop-up. Sometimes it's the same, but uh, normally that's how you will get a hold of a technical support scam pop-up. Now, if you're not getting any of these coming up on your screen and you want to try it another way, sometimes what I would do, I'm just going to uh, close out of the browser, is uh, Sometimes what I do is I go to uh, Google Images and I write tech support scam pop-ups. And then I search images. And then when you search in images, you want to click more or you want to click search tools. And then under here, you want to search for uh, past 24 hours. And if you get lucky, you'll see a, a blue screen here in the image. And you can open that up, the image, and kind of jart down the 800 number. And uh, you can get it that way. Um, so uh, those are some of the methods that I use in Gatter and uh, fake blue screen. Uh, and uh, technical support number, scam numbers. So uh, that's how I get a hold of these scammers. And uh, I hope this video helped you guys find some more tech support scam numbers. So when you're going to make videos and uh, expose them and stuff. So uh, if you enjoy my videos, remember to comment, write, and subscribe.